prepping for a major ocean expedition. There's two ships involved, which is really awesome. Headed out to the Northeast Pacific, west of Seattle, the research vessels Roger Ravel and Sally Ride. The mission, quantify how primary production at the sunlit ocean surface fixes carbon, which is then exported to the deep twilight zone, where it can be sequestered for months or for millennia. The goal is to create a new, detailed picture of how the ocean breathes. It's really exciting. We're getting a very full picture for the first time. And the key role played in that process by single-cell organisms, plankton. Understanding the diversity and makeup of plankton in the ocean can help scientists understand the role the ocean plays in consuming and sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. In turn, understanding this process can give insight into the ocean's carbon cycle and how it helps regulate our home planet's changing climate. So here's a float. This is what we, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a float like the one that's going out in exports. Among the key players, robotic sensors, developed and manufactured at the Applied Physics Laboratory of the University of Washington. We have all sorts of other sensors, which are specifically tuned for looking at the carbon cycle problem. Give us a bump, Mike! So we've had an explosion of robots in ocean science. We have spectacular robots that can give us persistence. We can now stay out in the ocean for months to years. We can measure over broad spans of the ocean. We've built them, we've designed all the electronics, um, all the mechanical design is done in-house. The latest model of the Sea Glider packs an impressive payload. This is a radiometer. It's measuring uh, essentially uh, light and radiation, solar radiation, uh, penetrating into the ocean. Mm -hmm. This is an acoustic Doppler current profiler, so it's measuring uh, water velocities. Uh, plus in this mission it's going to do very high resolution acoustic uh, biomass sounding, so a very uh, high resolution acoustic plankton detector essentially. The project is called Exports, Export Processes in the Ocean from Remote Sensing, a consortium of 150 oceanographers, scientists, and engineers from 29 different institutions, led by the National Science Foundation Two, and NASA, one, normally thought zero. of as the space agency, Lift off. more engaged in blasting off from Earth than sending ships to sea. Part of NASA's mission is to understand and protect our home planet, especially for those of us in the Earth Science Division. And usually we have the unique vantage point of space to do this. Now a realization that a single vantage point and single scale from space is not quite enough. To be able to predict how the Earth is changing in the future, we need a lot of information at a lot of different spatial scales. The ocean varies in four dimensions. Depth, latitude, longitude, time, and the challenge is how do we capture that? Exports will create a multi-dimensional picture of ocean processes, integrating data and scales from satellites in space, ships on the ocean's surface, and robotic sensors under the sea. The robots are out there. They're making measurements all over the ocean. That's great. They measure the subsurface, they measure the surface, but they still don't have quite the distribution, the, the coverage that a, a satellite gives you. So now we use the robots to help inform what the satellites are measuring. We've now leveraged ships to robots to satellites, and that's a system that kind of gives us this, this very broad picture of the ocean. It really takes that complementary set of platforms to get that whole picture. The goal of the Exports Field Campaign is to understand the interactions among life in the sea and the, the Earth's carbon cycle. The ocean absorbs approximately half the carbon dioxide from Earth's atmosphere. The key element there is how does the carbon go from the surface ocean into the ocean's interior? Ocean ecosystems play a, a, an important role in pumping that carbon dioxide to depth. It's something that we call the biological pump. Understanding how this pump system works is critical. Phytoplankton in the ocean behave like plants on the Earth's surface. They take in carbon and release oxygen. What's the most important layer to target? And the, and the answer is, grossly, well, you generate a bunch of, of carbon in the surface, it starts sinking down. As soon as it gets out of the surface layer, it starts decomposing. So the place where it's decomposing the fastest is right below the surface where stuff is growing. APLUW robot sensors are tasked with opening the way to new understanding of the ocean's breathing cycle not to mention our own breathing cycle. One out of every two breaths that you take is, has come out of the phytoplankton in the ocean. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.